there was a huge house. In that house, there was a big room. When you look inside, you find a hole. And in that hole lived two rats. One was the mother rat and the other was the baby rat. The mother rat always warned the baby rat. It said, a hey baby rat, be thoughtful about going outside. Because outside there is an old man with moustache. He will catch you and punish you. The mother rat said, do you hear me baby rat? Be very thoughtful about going outside. The baby rat always wondered what would life be outside the bright light. One day when mother rat was fast asleep, it became curious to step out to see the world outside. It knew it was the time for it to go. It came near to the hole's edge. Wow, it's so pleasant. The cool breeze. It looked at mummy rat for a last time. It saw mummy rat sleeping. <coughs> the baby rat knew it was the best time to go out and enjoy life much. The baby rat stepped outside the hole. It saw the huge all. Wow! It told to itself. The sofa. It jumped on it. It felt so good. It was huffy and puffy. It ran here and there. Very often, it smiled to itself. Oh, outside is so good. It thought of its mother. Mommy living in that hole. It is so irritating. Cha and clumsy. But look at the world outside. It's a good place to be. It stepped out of the hall and entered the next room, which was the bedroom. It felt so happy to see the colorful curtains, lamps, flowers, and desk pillow. It jumped onto the bed. Uffy, puffy, puffy, uffy. It continued to sing. It enjoyed especially the cool breeze. The baby rat thought to itself, Oh no, my mommy living that clumsy place. Ooh. I want the world outside. I feel it better. The next room that the baby rat entered was the kitchen. It looked around. It was so good. In the corner, it saw something of red in color. It went close and the more it went close, the baby rat felt watering in her lips. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let me taste it. And it started to eat. <laughs> it thought about the mummy rat again. Oh, mummy rat, look at the clumsy place she's in. She misses all this joy. <laughs> the baby rat started to eat. It enjoyed the time. It went inside the hole again. And this time, the mummy was continuing to sleep. Brrr, brrr. The baby rat went close to her mother. Mummy, 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 mummy. The mother rat woke up. It looked at the baby rat. It was so different. There was juicy all over the mouth. The mother rat asked, where did you go? What happened? The baby rat was all excited to tell about the adventure about the sofa. Uffy, puffy, running here and there. It told about the cool breeze in the bedroom. 
oh, how much it enjoyed. And it told about the lovely red tomatoes that it ate. <laughs> Baby rat was enjoying the day outside. Mommy rat heard about it. It became very sad. Mommy rat said, hey, did you tell me that you went outside? Oh no, didn't I tell you there's the old man with the big mustache who would catch you? The mommy rat became very sad. But the baby rat thought to itself, look at the clumsy place mommy rat is in. The following day, whenever the baby rat took a nap, all it could think is of the sofa, the fan, and the yummy tomato. The baby rat said to itself a new idea. Let me step out without telling mommy. It went onto the sofa. It enjoyed. What pleasure it got to its soul. It felt so good. The next, as usual, it went to the bedroom. The fan's breeze was making her feel cool. But this time, when they stepped into the kitchen, it saw something different. There was a box and there was something white in color inside it. It said, wow, yesterday when I came, I saw it was red and today it was white. It slowly stepped in. Its eyes was completely focused on the white food part that was hanging. It was so nice to be alone and eating the food. In a fraction of a second, it heard a sound. Oh, look at it. Somebody had closed it for me. I would enjoy the food myself. Ha ha ha, said the baby rat. But as it was having the food, it was lifted in the air. Oh, what's happening to me? It could see the kitchen. Oh no, I am flying, it said to itself. After some time, it could see the bedroom. But the baby rat ran this way and that way, but it couldn't come out much. And finally, it saw even the sofa, the place where it enjoyed very much. The baby rat turned this way and that way. Then it was the time when it noticed of this man, the old man whom the mother spoke of. Some time later, this old man dropped the baby rat into the hot water. What is happening to me? Help! Help! cried the baby rat. Oh, my feet! Oh, my hands! It was then it realized what the mother had taught her. From deep in her heart, it shouted, Oh, mommy, sh I should have listened to you. It screamed with all its energy lastly, Mommy! But mommy couldn't do anything. As time went by, the baby rat <coughs> died. Dear children, did you see what happens? Many times our parents give us loving words that we have to follow. Yes, do we follow it? Bible says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Ephesians 6 1. Do you obey? Many times we think, why should I do it? Why should I hold my daddy's hand when I walk? Why shouldn't I go with my friends and play? Sometimes your parents know the consequences. They know what would happen in future if you be a part of doing that naughtiness continuously. It's going to be painful, children. 
Would you take a commitment today of obeying your parents so that you'll have a long life? Tata from Uncle Ramesh. Hey, did you notice the rat? Ha 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 ha.